2012, according to the Mayan calendar. How did you, uh, before you go on into the 2012 thing, Pam, Pam, how is it, you still haven't answered my question. You we said that, all the videos, obviously, because you're sounding like you're pretty ignorant. Pam, I've look got better fact, things to do than watch... Pam, you haven't sold us on the video. Pam, Pam, Pam you know where the pot her down. The Just please pot her down. <laughs> pot her down, please. <laughs> Pam, look, the reason why we're not going to sit there and watch 223 10-minute long videos is because, A, we have better things to do with our time. All you have to do is watch... One minute of this guy to understand he's a rambling, incoherent nut job. Uh, but what I'd like to know is why you're so convinced this man is Jesus Christ reincarnated, or as you say, the, the, the whole Trinity. Now, Pam, are you rambling, or did you actually hear my question? 9 Do you know why Good I was God, 9 <laughs> she's, still, she's still talking. You know she stuff? talked the whole time. I, had I don't her... think you know all this stuff, and I think some of your, your, your debate on your ability to be informative if you don't look at all the information. Why do you think he's Jesus Christ? Look at all of the information. Looking at all of the information. Why do you think he's Jesus Christ? Did you look at his archive documents at www.holyconspiracy.com? No, he watched one minute and he looked like a loon. So why do you think he's Jesus Christ? I've been invited by Ron Paul. I emailed a congressman in Wisconsin. You know, the ones who are honest, there's very few of them. What about Ron Paul? Are you going to try to associate Ron Paul with this guy? Do you know the state is proceeding right now? Do you know that's the... The what? It's going to be the crucible. The states are seceding right now. The faces you know of the what? The states are seceding. Oh. Against the federal government All to withdraw from the federal government. I, I'm, I'm for it. There are many issues that have to be... Ba- many battles to deal with. And you're sitting there like a goofy two-year-old, not even looking at the information. <laughs> even make a, a but it's not the... Uh, the do you know how much information is on YouTube? Document. Why should we look at this particular you information? Like make a little mockery and ridicule people. She's not it. interested yeah, in answering your questions, Dale. You haven't read all of the websites she's given you. You respect other people's truth. And you research it and you Pam, can you calm down? Calm down. Pam, get in touch with your inner Jesus for a moment and take a chill pill. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. He only taught the way. How to live your life, according to how he did when he was on earth, I demonstrated. I think Jesus would have shut the F up when someone was trying to talk to him. We've had you on this show for two full segments, and we haven't been able to get a straight answer from you on anything. I have a phone number. If you want to laugh about this, Judgment Day is December 21st. Wait, when? 11 a.m. December 21st. Wait a long time. That's in 2012? Is that 2012 or this year? Northern Hemisphere. Wait, wait, Pam, 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 I want to know when Judgment Day is. Pam, when is Judgment Day? She is is tuning you out completely and just on a rant. She's on the Jesus wavelength. If you put her on hold, she'd continue talking to the next commercials. She'd talk to the next segment. All she has to hear is some kind of feedback through her phone. Let's see if that works. Put her on hold. Oh, wait, Pam, did you stop talking? No, no. no. Wow. Okay. Hey, I was nice to talk without you getting a word in edgewise for, edgewise for a while. You, you've been trying you to talk without us getting a word in edgewise? <laughs> you, you do realize videos, we can just turn you down, sorry, right? Let's try yeah, this. Yeah, let's, right. put, let's turn him, her down again here. Okay. See, we we are in control of your radio's <laughs> experience. Uh, I guarantee like she's limits. still going. Uh, we can turn you down, Pam, when we want to be able to talk without you babbling on underneath us. And I would love to have a conversation with you. Honestly, I would like to be able to ask a question, have you respond to that question, ask a follow-up question, have you respond to that follow-up question, maybe have you ask a question of us, whatever. But that requires you to have the ability to yield the floor for just a moment as we ask the question. So let's recap some of our questions and try Pam again, and then we're going to give up. Alakees.com is a community for self-learners. At Alakees, you'll find tools to help you connect with people learning the same things you're learning, tutor other community members, and to make contacts that can help you find jobs. You can also earn money by sharing your know-how with others and contributing quality content. Visit Alakees at A-L-E-K-E-S-E dot com. Again, that's A-L-E-K-E-S-E dot com. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever's on your mind via the toll-free number at 800-259-9231. That's the SACL CAI toll-free line. And if you're crazy, we might hold you on through three segments. 
1-800-259-9231. Tonight it is Ian joining you. And Dale. And Mark. And you can join us on our website at freetalklive.com. All of the features we give away. Live streams are included. Broadband version, dial-up version, even a webcam. All free for you at listen.freetalklive.com. That's listen.freetalklive.com. Do you have hair or skin problems? Are you sensitive to fragrances in your personal care products? Try Unicure. I've been using Unicure for over a year now, and uh, I think it's great. It's it's working for me, and uh, if you've got any kind of itch, Unicure takes care of that, too. Unicure at Unicure.com or call 888-UNICURE. Unicure.com. All right, we're going to bring Pam back. Pam, we're going to try something new with you here. We're going to try to actually have a conversation, and we're going to offer you a carrot to uh, to try to uh, make it so that you'll actually have a conversation with us. We will allow you a full 60 seconds to just ramble on about whatever it is that you want to, to our audience. If you will answer three questions, do we have a deal? Go right ahead. Question, question number one. When is Judgment Day? December 21st, 2012, according to the Mayan calendar, starting Greater Mountain Time, Mark your calendar. 11, 11 a.m. Question number two. That's why they ended World War One. No, nope, you don't get to go any further. Nope, that, that's enough. You answered the question. Democracy question. Oh, that, okay. question two. Question two. How do you know that the man in Australia you were talking about is Jesus Christ or the you whole God through, thing? You have to look through all the videos unless you want to just you know, skim through and not research. It. So you watching a video, and, and this is a tangential sure, question. This, this isn't the third is question. Archive documents at www.holyconspiracy.com. So he if you read a bunch of papers and watch some videos, you'll know that this is Jesus. That's what you're claiming? Yeah. Okay. okay. You Number three, question three. Time, question, and have read, believe the Bible, and the Bible has been corrupted by the Freemasons. The well, 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 question the three, you're going you off the You get to rant if you ask them the question. Last question, Pam. Answer you the third question. You're right. Slow down. We have no idea. We're absolutely clueless. You're going to ruin it, Pam. Just answer the question. Third question, this is it, okay? Why doesn't the man in uh, in Australia, who you claim to be Jesus and God, why doesn't he heal amputees? Amputees will be healed after Judgment Day. People who have okay. genetic disorders uh, Fair enough. healed, and also it'll be a gradual process. Pam, and you've got 60 seconds. 60 seconds to get whatever nonsensical babble out you want, you want to our listeners. Go. April 3rd, 33 A.D., okay? So everybody's age who's older 33 will reverse to 33. It's a gradual process when heaven is uh, created on Earth. And those children who are younger or young adults will not age beyond 33, and you'll have immortality. You will not die ever again. That was the promise. No, if you had a Christian upbringing, you know there was a promise inherent with your belief in Christianity and the fact that Jesus died for a reason and resurrected himself to prove indeed he was God. I, I, I don't you've know got what... 30 seconds left. So you, could, you, can, you can sit there and you've got to look at the false Jews, the Semitic Jews, who are the state of Israel and the Apex. Our, the state of Israel, where the welfare state that we're funding, that's not a lie. That's the truth. They control the media. They control Hollywood, the major motion picture industry, which television is mind control. Alex Jones says that on his show, Infowars.com. Alex Jones is actually the friend of my space. My, my account. Thanks There's for the call, Pam. Way. We really appreciate hearing from you tonight. Uh, you know, you let her go for 60 <laughs> seconds and she gets into hating people. <laughs> I, I, you know, I felt so bad about it right there. I, I said we weren't going to say anything, and then gosh darn it, she, goes, she jumps in on the Talmudic Jews. It's the Jews! <laughs> They're ruining everything. That's not very Christian, is it, to, uh, to not like people? Well, she's convinced that they're satanic. Mm, but shouldn't you Wait. still love your enemy? I think she did say it was like a Turning certain... Her cheek? A certain kind of Jew, which makes it okay to be racist as long as you're talking about a certain kind of Jew, right? Oh, I she's don't just... know. <laughs> it's, it, it's, not, it's not those Sephardic Jews. It's the Ashkenazi you, Jews. Did, did you notice that when she was... <laughs> Gosh, what? Making him choke on his water. <laughs> Mark, uh, Mark made me have a spit take. <laughs> Did you hear the when she was? It's, it's going to be interesting to play that back and listen to what she was actually saying because I couldn't process it as I, I was just watching the clock as she was talking. Because if you know if I listen to her, I'll want to say something to, uh, back to what she's saying. But if you listen to her, there was one point. There was one point in the first thirty seconds where uh, she stopped, she paused, and then kept speaking as though someone had said something to her. Did you notice that? Yes. Did you notice that pause? Yeah, she, I noticed the definite like, pause. He didn't I was like... say anything to her, so maybe there's a little voice in I her head. I think she needed 
the conflict a little bit. She needed yes. to try and talk over you. She ran out of steam like after 30 seconds. if you start seconds. to say something hmm. that might be a challenging question she can't answer or who knows what, yeah. if you started to say something, she just needed to talk over you. She had like yes. a repertoire of, of like, it's like almost like a machine gun or a shotgun, just shoot out all these statements yes. and so that to, to talk over you. And, and so without that conflict, it, suddenly she ran out of steam. That's exactly what I felt <laughs> after when she paused at 30 seconds for a, a good three seconds. She just didn't have anything to say. It was a completely different experience than when we'd been trying to have a conversation with her, and she just kept spitting stuff out. So there you have it. There's Pam in Wisconsin. Who knows? Maybe she'll call us back someday. 